All right, today I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something. Ah, the Beatles. Um, when I was going through this, it's kind of funny, like, the chords that I have, and I, I wanted to, like, double-check, like, I'm doing the right chord shapes. They're not the right chord shapes, but they sound um, pretty good with this uh, with the song. Um, but it's written in the key of C, and we're going to do the chords, and then we'll have another video for the solo. So you're going to have a C. You could have a C major 7. And a C7. You also have an F. A D7. A minor. A minor 7. And a few other stuff that we'll get to when we get to. Um, but those, I guess the main ones that we'll just walk through very quickly um anyways the intro you can do uh the lick and i like to just slide down and do the c instead of doing the whole like solo thing by yourself or if you want to do uh the chords with it it's gonna be um f e flat G, C, and there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but, um, so the verses are going to be, like we just said, this is going to be a C, the way she moves, the major 7, C7, F, bun, bun. so that little part there is going to be an F, and then I'm emphasizing that bass note of the F again because it's going to walk to this D and I'm just doing an open E but kind of keeping like the F shape even though it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, so C sharp tracks me like no other lover. And then D7. Something in the way she woos me. So that part there is that D7, and then make it your G, and then just lift off your index and middle finger, and then hit that open A, and then use that free index finger to get the second fret of the uh, fifth string or the A string to get that B note. So um, we'll go back to the top, why not? Something in the way she part where we have that F E flat G you can do the lick and again I recommend like getting up to that 12th fret of the B string and then just sliding back down to meet with them on that C so anyways what are those last two lines doing uh, it's gonna be an A minor and it's gonna be an A minor major 7 which looks like this and all this time like I talked about in the beginning I was doing it wrong. I was doing it like this because it, I don't know why, but it it seems easier. Um, and also sounds just fine. And then you go to an A minor seven, which is gonna kind of be like a similar shape, right? Something like that. That's gonna be the last line here. You know, I believe in how. And for the D nine, I even had the D nine wrong. Um, I had the D9 like this, when if you Google it, it looks like that. Sounds similar, again, it's going to do the job, and it's easy, it's easier to do. So, uh, last two lines, I don't want to leave her now. I don't know. I think my way is definitely easier, quicker, faster, um, and there's not much drop off from the chords that we think are being played, at least, right? 
Um, goes to another verse, then goes to this middle eight, the break, or whatever you want to call it. Um, now I'm moving up to a bar chord version of A. It's going to be A major now. Um, so it's going to have a different lick, um, but it has the same chords that's going to connect. Uh, so I don't, don't know. You know I believe in how... down instead of doing that walk down since i'm doing all one thing on one instrument i'm be getting ready for the solo which is um you know get your pedals ready get yourself ready what am i playing get your sheets ready so that's why i'm skipping that walk down two is what they're calling it in the tab which we'll have below and whatever so anyways for the middle eight here like i said a barred version of a you're asking me and I'm having this C sharp minor with, I'm just strumming all six strings, so this G's sharp over the top. I love girl, F sharp minor seven, something like that. I play it like that. I don't know, a D open, a G open, and then the walk down is gonna be this A chord. Um, you're just really getting this A note, and then you're just walking down off from the, the uh, six string here. Five, four, three, two, and then I'm just gonna slide back up to it or do something crazy like like you saw me do the first time. I don't know. I don't know. And then it just goes back to the same line again. And like I said, uh, you'll have your walk, walk down two is what they're calling it, which leads up to the solo. Now, if you wanna do the solo, it's just gonna be an empty verse. And then uh, it gets right back into another verse, verse technically three I have labeled as four um, and then the outro is going to pretend like it's going into another another middle eight it's gonna pretend to go back into that a chord um, but really it's just gonna do lick two, what they label it as and then it's gonna revert back into the same chords again of the F E flat G and then the lick one to end it so so the outro is gonna be something like this chord wise. Uh, my shapes are just gonna be a little bit different, but the chords are gonna be the same as you can see on the screen. So the first time through, it's kind of gonna pretend like we're going back to the middle eight kind of thing. Does the lick too, but the chords are gonna be just the F, E flat, G, A, bum, 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 bum. and then the second time through for the end is gonna be F, E flat, G, like that because you, you kind of want to like end differently chord shape wise let's be the same chords so F, e flat, G, A. F, e flat, G, C. that's what you do your lick one which i like better than lick two and that's the song